Hey guys, happy Friday. It's operations time over there here again. And uh, hey, guess what? We're gonna be doing some uh, operations and slash a little bit of a layout update over here because uh, we're going over to orange, the new section of the layout. And uh, we're kind of going off script. You can see I've got my uh, clipboard and all my stuff over here. I had a train all made up that I was gonna be doing uh, today and uh, we're changing that all around. So we're actually taking uh, this little line of cars here, you can see uh, our locomotives here, uh, the yard consist, they're heading out and they're going to be doing some switching and we got four cars over there. We're heading over to Westpac because that's where I've been uh, sort of doing most of my, uh, well, you'll see once we get to the layout update portion of them. So let's get out of the yard over here, brakes off, let's get on out. I hope everybody had a good week. I know it's been like a week since I did a video and uh, you know, eh, it's summertime, it's hot here in Southern California. You know the drill, stuff slows down. So uh, right now, we're uh, kind of running on like, uh, I don't know, one, once a week, every Friday video kind of thing, at least uh, for the moment here. Anyway, as we roll on out of here, uh, we're gonna go all the way around to the new section of the layout, um, which is Orange, California. And uh, I have been trying to figure out how to kind of model Westpac, which uh, is a prototype industry, and uh, what they do is they make uh, you know drywall paste and plaster and all that kind of stuff like that. At least in this uh, you know facility here in the, the real world, and uh, you know they've got a lot of silos and stuff like that. I've been looking at the uh, you know Jeep or the uh, Google you know Street Views and kind of seeing how it looks and and all that stuff, and uh, basically. Let's swing around here as the train comes out and I'm going to show you what I've got over here. So this is what I've got for Westpac so far. Now um, I'm going to put my controller down so hopefully the train can run all around while we uh, do our little layout update over here. Um, so uh, and I don't think I have the picture sitting around anywhere but uh, the Westpac, the Westpac uh, facility here uh, is kind of unique. So like I said they normally in the real world they get hoppers with uh, you know whatever material for making drywall paste and uh, you know stuff like that and then they you know mix it all together you know manufacture it combine it and then they uh either ship it out via boxcar or um they have silos where they load um you know big tank trucks so like uh, you know tanker you know tank tank trucks that kind of go in there and uh, you know pick the stuff up so uh, trying to model that again, we're going we're to kind of touch on my philosophy here, right? I'm not doing prototype. I'm doing proto freelance. OK, so uh, based on the real thing, but, uh, you know, just kind of changed around a little bit, but keeping the flavor of the industry and in the, in the, the area, you know, the look in that kind of thing. So um, what I did in that uh, vein is I picked up this uh, kit here. You can see it's a Walters. I forgot, like a sand something kit. I, I don't remember. I don't have it in front of me here. But, uh, you know, it comes with a kind of silo deal right here um, that's uh, set up for, uh, you know, loading uh, hopper cars over here. And then a couple of buildings. And I, these, this is pretty much just white. So I just painted them white. They're not painted yet in their final colors here. Um, although the silo pretty much kind of is with we're gonna do some more touch-up over here I just finished uh, Painting the rails and st or the railings. They're kind of yellow and all that stuff but um, I want to have uh, You know something that made sense. That's the one thing I, I always try to do is in the industry um, You know, I want it to make sense. I want it to you know There has to be room for trucks to go in and out to do their thing. You know, you can't just have tracks all over the place and you know and all that kind of stuff so I, I try to make things you know kind of make sense like you know there's an entrance to the facility someplace and trucks have to pull in and vehicles have to pull in and there's a parking lot you know and I try to make it look you know like believable in that way and it's been really hard as our uh, as our train comes around over here hopefully it doesn't flip over on our uh, makeshift uh, Santa Ana River right here but it, it's been a little bit hard for me here because I'm sort of constrained by the space here and a little bit of the, the layout, but you know, the meaning the track plan layout, um, how to fit something like that in. Now, in the past, 
um, what I've done is I've sort of modeled just, you know, a portion of the industry. You know, like, uh, like SoCal Edison over there and all these other industries that I have, you know, or the lumber yard, you know, I'm just modeling like 10% of the industry. And we're going to go ahead and pull right through here, come across the street, and uh, we're actually going to stop in the street, I think, here. Eh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll stop right there so I can keep chit-chatting here. And I'm actually going to, I'm going to silence the locomotive here. But anyway, my whole thing is that, um, you know, I've always tried to kind of like just model a portion of the industry. And that way I can make believe I'm um, just looking at 10% of the industry. The rest of it is sort of, you know, off the, uh, off in the aisle here someplace like that. And so I've been trying to figure out how, the <coughs> Ooh, excuse me, how the heck to do that over here. And um, I'm still struggling. I I'm not quite sure how to reconcile the fact that, uh, you know, how are the cars going to come in and out? What sort of cars are going to come in and out? How is stuff going to get moved around here in this little space? And how am I going to make it all look sort of like the prototype without being exactly the same, right? Um, and um, so in that vein, what I've kind of decided to do here is uh, this industry back here, which I think I was calling it diversified gas, um, but I've got another industry that doesn't have a flat. It's over here. This is uh, called Ultima Packaging, I think. And uh, what I've decided over here, uh, this isn't going to be ult or this isn't going to be diversified gas anymore. This industry or against the background is going to be part of Westpac. So we're going to have sort of two different sections of the layout here, right? Because they, in order to get cars over here, they got to come way down here. And uh, this is going to be another portion of that same industry. So this whole thing is going to be Westpac. Now, the the good thing about that is I'm not losing car spots, right? So it's not like, uh, oh, I'm getting rid of an industry. No, I'm just changing it around. We're still going to have a track there. They're still going to get cars over there and stuff like that. Um, but we're just going to, it's all going to be one big part of the industry with two different uh, tracks going into it, into two different locations, one over here and uh, one over there, you know. And then uh, one of the things that uh, the prototype has is they have sort of like a conveyor belt thing, you know, that runs from one section to the other over there, that sort of thing. And so that is what I'm going to do. Now, I still got to kind of, I don't know, scratch, build that, figure it out to make a con conveyor belt. I might use some of these things right here from, uh, you know, another kit. But I'm going to have something like that going from the background over to here, and so forth and then uh, like I said this little kit here comes with uh, you know little conveyor belts like this uh, you know where this is a conveyor belt you know they, they put stuff over here it makes a big pile of stuff over here that sort of thing there's a couple of these here I don't know how to kind of incorporate it all over here here's another thing with uh, you know I don't know trucks dump stuff in here there's a conveyor belt that takes it away over there maybe onto like uh, you know one of the other conveyor belts or something like that I don't know I got to still figure that out. So all I got really uh, sort of solid in place here, I'm gonna kind of get stuff out of the way again here, um, is that, uh, you know, this tower is gonna be sitting here and uh, they're gonna be collecting material from over there via conveyor belt up to here, uh, go into the silo and then this will load hopper cars. Now there's also, you know, obviously a little uh, whatever belt elevator thing right here so they could dump stuff in here also to put it in here. So we'll still work with that. Uh, the other little stuff here with these things, who knows, I'll use them for something. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. But uh, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking the majority of the, the industry is going to be back there. It's going to be in the background. So I'll have a few more sort of a uh, background, you know, buildings printed out from Street View that'll be back there. And then we'll have a little bit more stuff over here, uh, you know, that's uh, sort of going along that same concept where I don't have to build a whole bunch of stuff over here. I just have to make it, this is like 10% of the industry. The other 90% is back there in the background, right? Sort of thing. So that's my thinking so far and that's my uh you know at least as far as i've gotten over here so as far as the kit here like i said i just uh, i spray painted everything like gray in a primer i think this thing had a little bit of tan in it and i'm all the prototype stuff is kind of white so uh 
pretty much this is almost the final color right here, at least the, the, the white portion of it. And then we'll get it all weathered up. And I uh, still got to do a little bit more touch up paint here and there and, you know, make it all look nice, get all the details in there. And uh, let me get the locomotive's uh, sound on right there because we're going to continue on. And we're going to do a little bit of switching here at Westpac in the background at least. So let's put that there. Oh boy. I'm making a mess of this video already, ain't I? Yes, brakes off, my man. All right, we're gonna pull forward over here. I'm gonna get rid of a couple of these cars in the background right there. And I think I've got a hopper. I'm gonna take that hopper and bring it down here in the foreground. So this is a little bit, like I said, it's a little bit of a weird video. We're kinda, we're kinda running the prototype. This is the first time I'm sort of running trains here with this sort of concept where this, uh, the, even the background industry is now part of Westpac. It's a Westpac industry over there. So this is my first train I'm running out here just to kind of sort of see how that would work, you know, if we got cars that are dropping off in both spots here. So you can see we've got a couple box cars and a tank car. I think what I'm gonna do is we're just gonna swap them out back there. Um, so the tank car that's back there and that box car back there are gonna get picked up. I'm gonna put the camera down here. And then the tank car, two box cars, they'll get dropped off. Pretty straightforward right there, huh? I'm gonna have to change my turnout back there. So, uh, let's see, let's go back even a little bit farther here. There we go. Put you on top of the building here. Yeah, so that's my kind of thinking here. I've been trying to, and that's why I've been uh, going, well, a little bit slow over here on, uh, on the whole Westpac and Orange area is because I've been trying to kind of figure out exactly what to do here and, uh, you know, still make it look good, still keep it sort of plausible here. Well, now this is interesting. Let's see, how am I going to do this? Because now I got all these cars and I don't have enough space. So, uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to have to drop these off first. Let's see. And uh, what I'm getting at here is, see, this is a little test run. First time running over here. I don't have enough room to pick those cars up and get them all out of the, uh, the industry there. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm not sure. I don't know how to do this. Let's see. Well, I'm going to cut them off here. Again, this street right here, this is a dead end right over here, so the, there's no street right here. Uh, so we can leave the car right there, or the, the oh, these hoppers. I'm gonna get new hoppers. <laughs> these things are killing me. All right, yeah, I think this will sort of work. Well, that's another good idea here. Um, I guess another good, good example here is what I meant to say. Um, to kind of test things out if you make changes in your mind or in your industries or you know so forth uh, Run a few test trains like we're doing here. This is a test train. So you're not getting an operations video You're getting a, a layout update. Let's let's run a test train video here So we're not doing all sorts of prototype operations here today We're just trying to figure out how this would work if we came in here with four cars and uh, you know We're having the whole Westpac one big industry over here Let's see. Now, if I pull these guys out, again, I'm going to be in the same kind of boat, I think. Where I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough space. We'll find out really quick here. Let me show you, kind of back up and show you what I'm talking about over here. So, if we come all the way back here, you can see I, uh, I sort of don't have a ton of space. We're still in the industry lead, and right there is where we're cleaning clearing the turnout right here, right? So we just cleared the turnout, and if I was to drop off those two box cars, the blue one, the yellow one, and the tank car, uh, I don't have enough space back here, and then we've even got a little tank car tucked in over there in the off spot right there. There's not enough space there to hold uh, all those cars right there, and my locomotive is dying over here on the turnout, so. <laughs> Goodness sakes. What a video. You guys waited all week for this. There we go. Time to clean the uh, the turnouts over there. 
what can I do here? Hmm. I guess we can kind of, this is one of those situations where, you know, we might have to just go in kind of one by one here. So we'll come back here. Now the hopper car is going to go down this way and get dropped off back over here. So we got to deal with all these other cars. But since we don't have enough space, let's see. And of course the hopper car. And again, this is, we're doing test runs here. So we're just going to go all the way forward. Oh, Seriously, hopper. <laughs> we're going to see how far, how many cars we can fit here. Again, this is a test run. And looking back over that way, I'm gonna try not to swing you around too much, but you can see, uh, well, I don't know, let's see, maybe we'll just have to drop off one car. You can see we're just coming up to the end there. Yeah, see, so there's uh, about half a car length back here between the uh, locomotive and the off spot there. I guess if we, didn't, if we didn't have the off spot, it'd still be pretty tight, because, uh, you can see the turnout is right there underneath the uh, yellow rail box car, and uh, we, we can't quite fit, you know, a, a car and a half right there. Let me put this down here. So normally, I guess what we would do here, let's see if this will work. We're even tight with the, with the box car too. So if we left that there, yeah, our little spoiler uh, car back there is just about, let's see, oh, look at that. We got just enough space here. So we can drop off our two box cars yet. And we, we literally had like a half an inch between the front of the locomotive over there and the, uh, the tank car that's sitting there that's considered our, uh, an off spot right over there. So not bad. This is kind of a, a little learning experience here. Right there, don't go off the end of the track. Holy smokes. All right. I gotta get shorter uh, chopsticks for over here because since these industry tracks are kind of underneath our, my overhang here, I don't even know if you can see that, sorry. My uh, industry track over here is kind of underneath my overhang and uh, the rest of the layout over there is half the size of the overhang here. So you can usually get in here, um, but I need a little bit, uh, a little bit shorter chopstick to get in there. Let's go up here. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna actually move our little building out here so you, I can stop screwing around with this and you guys can get a halfway decent view. And hopefully I don't drop the camera on the ground. All right, there we go. That way it's not shaking and you got, uh, you got the view here. There we go. So at the front of the train, we got plenty of room, like two and a half cars right there. And all we got to do is get this guy over there. I said that would work. Right. Anyway, up, upper cars, upper cars and their couplers, brother. I think that'll be the plan here, or at least in my head, I'm getting a good idea of how how cars would move back and forth here, you know? And again, there's multiple scenarios we can kind of run, you know, one locomotive, two locomotives, three locomotives, uh, just taking a couple cars that'll, you know, fit in here with no problem. I think I definitely got to work on the track over here a little bit. It's kind of settling in the heat and all that stuff. All right, we're gonna drop this guy off right there. Whoop. All right, that's good. All right, let me pick the camera up here, give you a little bit bigger view here. All right, so that's uh, test number one. Now, 
We'll stop right there. Do close that turnout. So now we've got our two pickups over here, the tank car and the uh, box car. Now the hopper car supposedly is uh, basically got to go all the way down here, across here. We're going to put our uh, Black Rifle Coffee building back there. Uh, down here, and then we got to shove it all the way back up over here and do, uh, you know, pick these guys up and so forth. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's figure out how that would work. Now, again, we gotta, we gotta run back up because I don't have enough space over here to get uh, down on the turnaround, or on the, uh, the runaround right there. So, back we go here. And again, I'm gonna run it a little bit faster than I normally would. Because I just wanna test this out and see how this little, uh, you know, idea of mine would work. You know, uh, one of the things that I always like is, or I always uh, like to see on layouts, is that sort of negative space, you know what I mean? That sort of space where, you know, stuff isn't all crammed together, you know? In the real world, you know, there's a lot of space. And obviously I know here on, uh, you know, our layouts, we're sort of limited with space. Uh, right there, yep, right there is good. But, uh... Oh, I forget. I keep forgetting I have my little thing right here. And my camera is overheating. That means my video is getting too long. But I think this will work out. This will be pretty straightforward right here. Because basically, we would just uh, run down. And uh, we got plenty of room down here to fit um, all that train all the way back down here. And then work that Westpac industry back and forth over there. So... Since the video is getting a little long and uh, you get the gist of what I'm trying to do over here. I'm just running a test train to kind of figure out how this whole little industry over here would work. But uh, I'll let you go from there. So we're not going to finish doing this train right here. We'll just run it in here because the camera's overheating and all that stuff. But uh, let me go ahead and hit it on silent right there. But anyway, I wanted to finish off my thought on the, the M negative space here, right? You don't want to pack stuff in. You want stuff to kind of spread out a little bit. You want you want some little divide here with nothing but scenery in it. That sort of thing is what I'm getting at. And then also, I didn't want just Westpac to be this one track and this one little thing right over here, which is why I'm taking over that as uh, that's going to be Westpac too. And this whole section here now is going to be Westpac. So that's my thinking right now. That's the, that's what I'm going to keep on working on and figuring out how to kind of fit stuff in there and still keep a little bit of that negative space, that little openness. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, little rambling and uh, test video on uh, operations and a little bit of the layout update over here in orange. See what I'm doing and what I've been working on here. Uh, guys, I hope you have a good weekend and I will see you in the next video. Not sure when it'll be, but definitely another video next Friday. Uh, if not, sooner. Take care, guys.